260 miles an hour easy. I didn't even have, oh my goodness. <laughs> it made me choke in my spit. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome to a very special episode of Which Automation Car Can Jump the Farthest on the Car Jump Arena? Why is it special? Because today we're only doing hypercars. Yes, it's the hypercar special. So safe to say most of the cars today are going to go very, very far. I would actually be surprised... If, if one of them doesn't land in the sand or beyond, that's the caliber of a race car that we're going to be trying today. So without further ado, let's get right into this and right into the speed. And if you guys are enjoying this series, which I know you guys are, make sure to hit that like button down below uh, for more videos like this. Anyway, let's do it. Alrighty, so right off the bat, we got a monster here. This is the Aero Exorcist <laughs> Elite. <laughs> what a name. What a name, and I can already tell this thing is going to be fast. We have, like, visible axles here. That's that's something I've never seen before. Anyway, uh, this thing looks pretty fast to me, so let's see what the heck it can do. Whoa, okay. Yeah, it's quick. <laughs> it's looks match its speed. It's loud. We're scraping the ground. That's probably not good, but we're getting up to 180 miles an hour easily. And the wings pick us up here. Are we going to make it to the sand? It's going to be close. Oh, God. <laughs> and, you know, basically we exploded. Now, I did say that we probably weren't going to have any of these cars that are going to not make it to the sand. But we didn't actually make it to the sand on that one. I wonder if it has something to do with the wings, though. I feel like the wings actually picked me up a little bit there. This didn't have quite the amount of speed uh, that I was hoping for. I was hoping for like above 200. We barely squeaked uh, 190, I believe. There's multiple wing levels to this. Let's go ahead and take those off just to see. I should probably take these off too, but I'm not going to worry about it. We're not going to be too scientific around here. I just want to see. Actually, it looks pretty cool like this. I feel like a car of this caliber would have the ones that like automatically come up after a certain amount of speed you go. But uh, it's still controllable, so that's what it matters, and it's going to push us right down into a front flip. So I was actually correct there. The uh, the back spoiler there was kind of pulling us up into the, into the sky, and we are going to roll for a long time, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no, all the way up to the podium almost. Yeah, not quite, bud. I don't think this one's going to get any uh, first place ribbons. Uh, just because of the caliber of car we're talking today. But uh, for a first car of the day, I would say that's a pretty good result. Well past the 500 mark. Uh, I mean, after that, I can't really measure in units. I only have to measure off landmarks. So the fact that we made it past the 500 is still very impressive, but I think we can go farther. All right, so our next vehicle is simply called the P9 MK7. And this thing looks straight out of the future, straight out of like Tron or something. I feel like it should have some... Uh, some light just randomly coming out of this thing. Anyway, we've seen body styles like this before. It's literally just a race car. So let's see what it can do. It's, oh my goodness, that is quick. 200 easily, 223, I believe was the final number here. And it's gonna push us down. I feel like we easily could have, wow, look at this skid across the water. I feel like we easily could have made it to the sand, but it did feel like something uh, was pushing us down. Now, I don't have a lot to grab onto here. We do have the one wing in the back. I don't know how big of a difference this is going to make as far as distance here or controllability on the downhill. But we're going to hope for the best here because I want to see. I know the speed is there, but I want to see if we can get this thing into the sand. There we go, 220 again, and it looks like it's gonna push us down. Maybe it's just the um, the aerodynamics of this thing. I mean, it makes sense when you really think about it. It's a race car. You want it to not fly up in the air and fly as far as possible. So we're, it, it's working against gravity, basically. Uh, so, I mean, if we were the right shape, I'm sure we would easily uh, go farther into the sand. But since this thing is so well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> designed, uh, it's going to push us towards the ground, which is what you really want if you want this. But for our particular interest, we want something that goes far and, you know, 
leaves the earth but uh yeah this one isn't it but still a very very impressive car and really 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 fast but let's go faster all right next up we got the alx mk1 ft just lots of acronyms i imagine anyway look at this banana mobile what does that say on the on the wing halcon okay okay well let's see what it's got i really like the back end of this thing very sporty looking is it road legal though that's what i want to know Oh my goodness, it's quick. Oh my God, 260 miles an hour. Oh my sweet Jesus, we are gonna jump straight into the pool. <laughs> just skip the sand, just go right into the pool. Slam dunk from the top of the car jump arena does not get much better than that. My goodness, I was not expecting that. <laughs> and you know, it's really, uh, in more or less one piece, we did lose a uh, tail light, or all the tail lights actually, and the spoiler. But besides that, we are looking pretty good. I mean, I feel like this thing at that speed would kind of just explode on impact on the water, but you know, we're not gonna argue with it. I kind of want to do that again, actually, just because that was, there's something so satisfying about that. And I want to see if that was like pure luck that I actually landed in the pool. Okay, okay, okay. This thing's a little hard to control. You can't give it all the gas all at once. You gotta kind of ease into it because this thing is mighty powerful. And now I now I can't control it all. What's going on? I got super lucky the first time, I guess. All right. I'm gonna try one more time. Look how tiny those little mirrors are in the front. Those are adorable. All right, here we go. Here's a good launch. All right, try to fly it into the pool. I can kind of control it. <laughs> yes, there we go. I think we actually went a little farther the first time, but we still just straight up landed in the pool. That is that is going to be hard to beat. I will tell you that much. I mean, what would be after this landing on the, the podium, the first place podium? I don't know, uh, but let's see if we can up the ante a little bit. But that one definitely is going to be hard to beat for sure. Oh, my goodness gracious. What is this? Uh, I'll tell you, it's the, well, hold on, let me, let me pull this up, um, the Azazel, 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 I don't know what to call this thing, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but this looks like a freaking <laughs> transformer, I was trying to think, yeah, it, it straight up looks like a transformer, look at all the, you could, just touching this thing, you're gonna impale yourself, there's so many wings, so many little spikes coming out of this thing, let's see if it's fast, though, oh my goodness, Oh my goodness, look at this wing, man. It's ridiculous. Are we gonna hit 200 though? No, just ba oh my God. Okay, oh my goodness. <laughs> Apparently all these wings are not for no reason. They pushed us straight down. Absolutely straight down to the ground. So yeah, this thing not gonna be leaving, not gonna be leaving the ground without a fight, that's for sure. I mean, yeah, it makes sense now looking at, look at all the wings, just push us right down into the ground. Like we can keep driving this thing, what's driving into the sand? I'm sure this is definitely made for off-road. Uh-oh. <laughs> hey, well, you know, we still made it uh, into the pool. I bet this thing is an absolute monster on the track. We might have to take some of these back for a uh, follow-up video just to see how fast they can go in a straight line and how they can do on a track. I think that would be a good idea. If you guys want to see that, let me know down below uh, in the comments. Anyway, this thing, absolutely ridiculous, but not exactly great for the car jump arena. But seriously, this is one of the craziest looking designs I've ever seen. All right, our next vehicle is simply called the C4BF. What does that stand for? I don't know, but uh, we're gonna see if it stands for speed and uh, as far as I'm concerned, distance. So here we go. We've seen a, a design very similar to this, but as we know, it's all about what's under the hood. Uh, that makes the difference on the car jump arena. So let's see, it's quick. Very, very quick. 225 miles an hour, I believe was the speed. And it's just, Barely gonna miss the sand there. Oh. And put a little bit of a dent into the side there, unfortunately. <laughs> the engine's kind of falling out. Oh man, alright. We'll give it uh we'll give it another chance here. It's only a V6! 
absolutely insane. But uh, here we go. Let's try to keep it straight line as possible here. 226, I think we hit for a second there. Just keep it up in the air, man. No, probably five, maybe 10 feet away from landing in the uh, soft, soft sand as if it would make a difference. Uh, but still, there we go. It does stand for speed apparently, but not distance, uh, unfortunately. So uh, yeah, we're gonna have to move on. All right, speeds, this car's middle name, literally the Crown Speed 603. Uh, kind of a similar design to what we just uh, drove, but, my goodness, look at the headlights on this thing. But, uh, let's see what this thing could do. I mean, it has the word speed, so obviously it's gotta go fast, right? It sounds good, that's for sure. Whoa, okay, okay, okay. This one caught me off guard. The speed came a little like halfway down. It just kicked in and it kicked hard. So I gotta, I gotta keep this thing under control. There it goes. Oh my goodness. Good God, when it, when it kicks, it kicks. It kicks in hardcore and we are going st oh, nose diving straight into the sand. The engine has come out and I don't know what's happening here. So <laughs> I'm a little scared to try to drive this one again. Uh, so we're just gonna say that's that's what we got with very, very good launch there into the sand. Uh, the King Speed is very, very fast. I'm pretty sure this is just a straight up drag car uh, at this point. Alrighty guys, so I have two very special guests joining us in today's episode. Uh, you might recognize them if you've been around the channel for a while. First up, we got the 10K Dio Volante, uh, which is quite possibly the fastest car ever made in Beam and G Drive or any other video game, period. Uh, it's kind of a, a toss up between this and the 10, or the, uh, the V10 Destroyer. But uh, I, I kind of like this one a little a little more. I just I've always liked the style of the Dio Volante. Uh, so let's see if it's still got it. We got Nos. Now, if you if you guys missed out, we got these things going up to like Mach 8 back in the day. It was completely ridiculous. Broke the game. I don't know if they still go that fast, uh, but we might have to make a video on that. But for now, we're just going to try to get it off the car jump arena. Oh, God. Oh, OK, OK, OK. Just keep it out of control, buddy. <laughs> it's too much, man. It's too much. It just, oh no. Oh no. Oh, poor car. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that, but it just, it just rocketed. Let me, let me try to really, okay. Okay, this is kind of working. 260 miles an hour easy. I didn't even have, oh my goodness. <laughs> it made me choke on my spit. Holy crap. We, we nearly made it past uh, the pool there. <laughs> oh, that is ridiculous. Yeah, it still, it still holds that title, man. This has got to be one of the most ridiculous cars ever made to this day, but there might be one car that can challenge it. I think you guys know what I'm talking about. The V10 Destroyer needs no introduction, but I'm gonna give it one anyway. We have a couple versions. We have like a toned down track version, land speed record, uh, goes Mach 20. <laughs> Wait, Mach 20? How fast is that? I don't even know. I don't even, I don't even know. 5 million RPM, revs up to 5 million RPM and drivable. Need sun gravity to rev it that high in neutral light. All right, let's just go with the land speed record version. I, I don't know. I, I it's it, it. I guess it doesn't matter. But uh, this one is actually got the tattoo there. Beam and G Speed King. Oh God. Okay, okay, okay. We can do this. <laughs> I forgot how ridiculous these cars are, man. All right, just just ease into it, man. I gotta concentrate. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh. oh my goodness gracious. Okay. 
Okay. Um. <sighs> I don't even know what to say to that, guys. I don't even know what to say. I think what I do, I do think that we need to make a follow up. I know it's been like over a year, but we need to make a video with the uh, Diavolante and the, the V10 Destroyer and do a like an actual test to see which one goes the fastest, which one actually has the crown uh, for the fastest card in BMG Drive. But yeah, I think I think the V10 Destroyer went a little farther on Car Jump Arena. So I'm going to say V10 Destroyer is the reigning champ of the Car Jump Arena uh, because that was absolutely ridiculous. I hope you guys enjoyed this special edition of which automation car can jump the farthest on the car jump arena uh i know i did uh what should we do next maybe a slow car edition i don't know there's a there's a lot of stuff we could do but let me know down below in the comments i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to like comment and subscribe and i will talk to you guys in the next one see ya